Hey guys, Luke here from Pretty Tutor, and in this video, I will show you how to set yourself up with a nice water wheel motion in Unreal Engine 5. So, without further ado, let's begin. I got myself a nice scene ready for me to use, and basically, it looks quite nice, but uh, let's say there's not enough motion. If I were to hit simulate, it looks like the water would be flowing, uh, like so but the wheel itself is not moving. So to add a certain motion, what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, a rotation onto this. You don't even need to set yourself up with a blueprint. Actually, I can just go ahead and delete it and you can see me dragging the static mesh into this field over here. And all we need to do is within the details tab, we're just going to click on add button over here. We're going to search for rotator. Let's go ahead and do that. Rotating movement. There you go. We're just going to add it onto our static mesh directly, just like so. And by default, it should have a rotation value. If we look at the settings for the rotation, make sure to have this selected, by the way. We just have this selected. We're going to have the rotation value of Z axis by 180. And if we were to hit play, we can see what it does. And basically, it, once it uh, starts playing, and it's not going to be playing. The reason being is that this static mesh is actually set as static, so it's not going to move anything. If we were to hit close, we can see that there is a mobility error over here. Let's go ahead and fix that. All we got to do is just go onto the details tab, make sure we have the mesh itself selected. I'm going to make sure that the mobility is set to movable. Once we have this done, we're going to go ahead and hit play. And there a bit of a wait. It's going to give us this sort of a motion. Obviously, this is not what we want. We don't want this to be rotating in this kind of way. So I'm going to go ahead and hit close. And then we're going to go ahead and select this. We're going to hit E. And then we're going to see which axis it basically uses for rotation of the right movement. So it's going to be the green highlighter one. So that's going to be the X axis over here. Sorry, the Y pitch. So we're going to make use out of that. We're going to go all the way back onto the settings for this uh, mesh. So let's go ahead and do that. I think there you go. We're going to go back on to selecting the movement for rotating movement. We're going to take off the rotation uh, rate of this to zero, and we're going to change this to something like 10. Let's go ahead and try it out. And there we go. It seems to be moving in a nice direction. Every once in a while, though, I do make a mistake of it uh, of not double checking the rotation of the angle. So in case you want to go the other way, just make sure to inverse the rotation. So for example, if we were to set this to minus 10, it would go the uh, other way around, basically. So in this case, I don't need it. I can leave it as 10 and we're pretty much done with the rotation. Now, uh, in order to make the motion more, more believable, what I recommend you doing is adding some uh, visual effects. And actually, it's quite an easy thing to do. We can just simply go ahead and click Add, add a feature or content pack, go to Content Browser, use the start, start a content and add it to the project. I already got my added in, but I'm just going to do it. Okay, so there you go. I'm going to go ahead and click add to add it in and we're going to get ourselves a starter folder so this one over here it was what was added to the project um it's slightly outdated in regards to particles it doesn't use niagara particles but it's still quite nice so we can just use steam over here and just put it in the corner like so to add a bit of an extra motion to make it more believable and now that we hit play we're going to get ourselves a real nice type of a setup so yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to the motion of the water wheel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in a bit. 